friends, some chi. Greetings to you all, wherever you may be listening. Oh boy, the Lagos State Sexual Offenses and Domestic Violence Court in Ikeja have sentenced Bishop Daniel to life in prison for the offense of raping a pastor in his church. I ran Christian ministry in June 2020. That is, he was sentenced by Justice Oshodi. Now, Justice Oshodi, he went on to say that the cleric used his dominant character and position in the church to sexually violate two members of his own church. Shit! Shit! Then he went on to say that the convict's name should be recorded in the sex offender's register and he should serve his sentence in the correctional uh, center there, that is um, in the Kirikiri Maximum Facility, where he's being currently detained. Oh boy, I will show you guys the video, okay? And I would like to also get your own mm, comments, your opinion on this matter. Now, this is a video of the convict when he was entering the court. That is Bishop Daniel. All right, um, let's watch the video. Let's just take a look and then we'll be back. All right, please like, share, and subscribe right away. Subscribe. <laughs> say was it because of the prophecy eh? that he you know those prophecy he was saying that didn't uh, go in the way of the current president eh? was it because of that those prophecies ah some people that's what some people are saying though that it could be mm -hmm. um but well for me if he's guilty, no problem. He should serve the sentence, uh, the whole sentence there, life in prison. That's the law. The law is the law, right? Do you expect poor people to be going to jail, life in prison? Eh? You guys are saying, want to see big people too when they commit any crime. Want to see them also, you know, go into that dungeon, that, that prison and serve their sentence. Ah, it's beginning to happen in Nigeria. But I'm not saying that the man is guilty. I'm not saying that he's equally innocent because after all, the girls came out to speak out. Raping a pastor in the church <laughs> and other girls. <laughs> all right. You know, when it happens like this, the church members or the Christians will come to say, no, no, no. It's politically motivated, you know. But well, when it happens to ordinary people, do you come out to defend the ordinary man in the street when they convict him, uh, saying that he raped someone? Who, who will defend that one? Nobody. So why are we so fast to cover up those these big people? Eh? It's obvious that he doesn't have connection. <laughs> if he was having strong connection, he wouldn't have ended up in life in prison. Then some are saying, what about those Boko Haram, Fulani men? That they will give amnesty to eh? those ones that have pied people, pied people, raped a lot of women and girls, destroyed homes. After everything, they have been pardoned, given amnesty, and then put in the police in the army and tell them go and sin no more. Which one is more greater? Okay, if they are all equal, I think these Boko Haram and Hesme they should equally serve life uh, sentence. You know, so when people see the way they treat the Boko Haram, those dreaded evil men and the Boko Haram guys and Fulani men, when they see how they treat them, you know, they tell us they have graduated. They will give them money, put them in the police in the army. And now you now see this one. People say it's double standard. That's what people are saying, that it's double standard. Hmm? All right. So people are just linking it to the last election, the prophecies he was dishing out, saying that the current president will not win, he's going to fail, he might even buy, all those kind of things, you know. So maybe it's payback time. Mm. For me, I know that a lot of pastors are guilty of this same thing. I am telling you, a lot of girls have their secrets. And I think with this alone, many girls will start speaking out. 
they will start having that courage to come out to speak out let me tell you what if these girls who are who are the victims now are your own uh, sisters and the law states that rape carries maximum sentence of life in prison sexual assault is three years what if they were your sisters because this thing will put permanent damage in their life each time they remember a pastor bang them with you know it's, it will be painful on them and this will make them hate men and even hate going to church they will hate anything christianity because if a whole pastor could do that to them they'll be like what else what else a man of god they look up to you know and that is why you people should stop ladies should stop calling these people daddy 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 they'll be hugging you touching you you say there's nothing there now he's my daddy in the lord from that small small touches he feels that you're enjoying it from there the banging have started so girls please stay far from pastors sometimes too you people tempt them they are humans you people still will not listen and you keep calling them using sexy voices chatting pastors you are equally guilty you 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 push them to go that way you know i'm not saying that rap is good though but ladies to learn to stay far from pastors so that this news of pastor banging this person sleeping with this person we reduce we stop you know so a lot of girls i know in nigeria have many more secrets of many pastors that have slept with them but can they be so bold to come out and speak only those that are, that are bold that have courage are the ones speaking out now now what will happen to that church eh when you destroy the shepherd eh the other ones will flee they will run away now the church will be shaking now members will start leaving because to them it's something shameful many men will start telling their daughters pull out from that church telling their wives if i catch you in that church again you will see yourself she be your g you people's geo now that is busy banging pastor in church fellow pastor imagine banging pastor in church rape and other members so it has stained that church it has stained the church well it's okay i think other pastors you should learn and if they are equally doing the same thing they should stop uh -uh. you are married now then what are you teaching you are teaching holiness and you are busy committing the sin eh? so pastors stop oh stop oh stay far from girls stay far from girls ah all right it's okay so i would like to know your own thoughts uh, but i think those boko haram and boko haram and fulani has men that have been destroying lives and property raping girls too i think they are not supposed to be pardoned or given amnesty because they have put permanent damage in those girls those women's uh, uh, in life you know psychological trauma when they remember that a dirty bandit dirty boko haram guy banged them you know hot hot and released inside them you know that you know the the feeling they will get is somehow a bitter feeling sorrowful feeling so it's not just a pastor doing it to a, a girl in the church also these people too should be dealt with mercilessly no pity on them because the havoc they cost is too much hmm? what do you think the havoc they cost too is too much but well the law is the law you know the justice what should you have said it you know when when they, they uh, declared like this you know who can untwist it <laughs> i don't know maybe the lawyers will rally around to do one wonders or the other i don't know maybe a new government could come in and pardon him i don't know all these things are possible mm -hmm. all right guys tell me your thoughts in the comment section and i hope those book around and full any guys that they are telling us they have repented and giving amnesty I hope they are really genuine. Eh? I hope it's not a trick uh, for the Boko Haram guys and Fulani guys in the forest. They sent some people out. Say, go and infiltrate the police, the army. Go and infiltrate it and be giving us information. Yes, it's possible. They could be moles. You know, they plant them in there, back in the societies. Some of them are giving jobs. They plant them in so that they'll be bringing information, feeding those ones there where to attack, where not to attack give them weapons and the rest of them so i think the government should be careful should be very very careful to me they shouldn't have even put them in police or army at least you could have maybe given them a job you know a job like job maybe vigilante or send them abroad and train them 
on something very important maybe any other thing important you know but not security security is big business they should not go there and jeopardize the whole thing sabotage the whole thing leaking informations left and right to their people in the forest where to attack where not to attack where to get weapon and how not to get